What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Smash JT. In this episode, I'm gonna give a brief overview of Trover Saves the Universe, the PSVR title released by Squanch Games, who's Justin Rowland's company, the guy who makes Rick and Morty, which is like my favorite show of all time, or at least cartoon. It's definitely up there with all the shows ever though. And as far as the game is concerned, it can be summed up as simple as, if you enjoy Rick and Morty, you're gonna love this game. So first off, I want to say a special thank you to Squanch Games for giving me a review copy of this. It blew my mind because I really wanted to play this game very badly. The game is absolutely fantastic. It had me rolling. The comedy in it is, it's just unique Justin Rowland breaking the fourth wall, laughing at themselves quite a bit. and and some high level intellectual humor as well when the enemies start talking to each other and, and wondering their existence, things like that just had me cracking up. I found myself just standing there, or at least sitting there in awe of the conversations that were taking place during the game. Now, the game basically takes place as you're a guy who's stuck to a chair and you control this guy, his name is Trover, he's got these guys in his eyeballs that help give him power ups and things like that. that They'll explain that in the game when you play it, but you can control him walking around to different teleportation pods where every time you go to that, you press the R2 button and you shoot right over to where that is and you can continue playing the game. As it progresses, you get certain power-ups to give you better abilities to be able to see where you're going and higher up, you can raise up your chair and see all over the map or you can get double jumps, a bunch of different stuff I'm not gonna ruin for you, but this is stuff just in the first hour of gameplay that I unlocked. The game total, I haven't beaten it yet, but the research I've done on it, it's about a seven hour game, and if you go really slowly, you wanna unlock everything and find all the secrets, it can last 14 to 18 hours type thing. But if you're just blowing right through it, it's probably gonna take four to eight hours to get through. As far as me playing it, I'm about three hours in right now and can't wait to get back to it. I just wanted to make this quick video to let you guys know the game is out right now. It's a lot of fun. If you enjoy Rick and Morty style humor, you owe it to yourself to get this game. It is fantastic for the $30 price point well worth it. It's a lot of fun. The game is fantastic. I haven't played it without the virtual reality. I understand that you can, but I mean, it's a PSVR game and I have PSVR, so I'm not going to bother playing it without that. It's meant for a VR experience. People who did play it said it was fine outside of that, but honestly, when it comes to PSVR games, if you're going to be playing them, you should probably have the PSVR peripheral. It's just a very immersive experience and very well done. There are a ton of little tiny things that I can tell this team at Squanch Games really put effort into to make sure the details are all there. All the way down to tossing trash at a basketball hoop trying to get it in a wastebasket. It sounds stupid, but doing it was actually really fun. Way more fun than it should have been. But as far as the game is concerned, like I said, $29.99 on the PSVR, it's worth it. Strongly, strongly recommend this for anybody who enjoys Rick and Morty humor. Lots of fourth wall breaking, lots of unique Justin Rowland humor you can tell spilled throughout the entire game. Even the conversations, the dialogue between the characters, they're cracking up while they're talking to each other and saying the most ridiculous things. Sometimes the swearing can be a little over the top. Sometimes they can repeat the swears way too much and sometimes it feels a little bit forced, but ultimately it didn't really bother me. I enjoy that kind of approach to a game where it's just nonsensical, whatever, we're just gonna have fun with this game and make jokes while we're doing it and it never really bothered me. Not yet at least. Maybe that will change as I keep playing it, but like I said, a few hours in right now and I'm absolutely loving it. So. That's where I'll leave this video, but again, Trover Saves the Universe, $29.99. Strongly recommend for anybody who enjoys Rick and Morty. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, you stay smashing. Oh shit, look, look. Oh yeah, I, I see, I see what you're looking at there. Three button. Whoa, holy shit. We got two green thumbs up. One more puzzle somewhere. Try, try popping up higher. I bet there's another puzzle up there. These, these ridiculous buttons are so... Whoa, whoa, holy shit, dude. I mean, I can see that puzzle from down here. That, that's insane. That's 